Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and today is August 13th, 2020 and I'm on my way to the Tesla uh, service center in Springfield, New Jersey. A very familiar place for me. It's where I picked up my Model 3 and my Model Y and serviced my car there. Anyway, so on June 30th, a month and a half ago, uh, my front uh, windshield uh, cracked let's not go into details why but it cracked and I uh, immediately of course called my um, my insurance company USAA really wonderful people there and they immediately recommend to me what they recommend everybody's to do it through safe light I, it's not the first time I use safe light and I called safe light and they said basically you are uh, even if we do it for you you're gonna have to go back to Tesla to uh, get the cameras recalibrated so it's like two appointments also they would have to order the windshield from Tesla because according to them there is no third uh, uh, you know like um, aftermarket part for this for the windshield I called other uh, you know body shops and they all say the same thing so that was the same day so I made an appointment for Tesla for two weeks from then so it would have been middle of um, middle of July a day before the appointment they sent me a text the windshield is not arrived yet two more weeks two more weeks have passed the windshield has not arrived yet two more long long story short a month and a half for a windshield now those of you uh, have been driving for more than 10 years let's say you for sure uh, uh, change the windshield in your life before windshields crack that's what they do glass break and in all my experience a windshield replacement was a one-day thing call the you go to to the shop or to safe light whatever they say they change it for you on where you are and they do it but of course this is Tesla we'll get to it later on about Tesla spark this Tesla's parts and service this is a real problem Anyway, long story short, in the meantime, the month and a half since then, uh, one of my tires popped and I used Tesla mobile service who came, who changed my tires. He put the Continental tires. I use the uh, Hankook uh, summer performance tires, which then he said to me, they are really shot. It's time to change them. So I ordered three, um, uh, three uh, uh, tires from Con the Continental, the, uh, you know the one that original come with uh, with Tesla they are right here in my car boy they stink anyway so I, I got that then my charging point my charging port doesn't open uh, annually so I put that on my windshields need to be replaced I have over 70,000 miles on this car so add that one on then I need to do probably alignment so add that one on so the estimate as of now as as of now on my way to um, Tesla is about $1,800. So I'm going to talk to you about the myth of uh, Tesla cars do not need any service and you save a lot of money. It's true, but not really. It's true, but not really. I will go to it after I finish the uh, service and we get the final prices. We'll go through it. You really want to stay for that part. Now, uh, also, uh, I got it. I got a text from uh, the Tesla guy. They're very nice there. I got a text. We're waiting for you tomorrow morning. Blah blah blah. Come drop your car. Doesn't matter. Touchless. That's all. Always great. So uh, one of the things that I will give you a voucher. I said, why can't I get uh, uh, a loaner? Because the car, the car is going to be at the shop for two days at least, 48 hours. And so that we don't have any cars. There is so many, so much demand and blah 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 so whatever so they can give me a voucher for uh, let's say uber or lyft to get back home but my wife is somewhere behind me she's gonna pick me up so i'm not gonna use that so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna drop the car off and all that and tomorrow when it's all said and done i will tell you what happened what they said and how the service went how much it cost and all that stuff and then we'll talk about uh, the myth of Tesla cars don't need any service. The reason I'm doing it is not only to share with you my story. I know some people like to, to see this stuff, uh, experience and, uh, and the cost and all that. But really, if you own a Tesla car, Model 3, Model Y, whatever, or if you want to go to buy one, so you know what to expect when your car needs something, especially parts. Because 
a friend of mine also smashed the front uh, bumper and I'll tell you what uh, her experience was. Okay, so stay tuned, let's drop the car off and then we'll circle back tomorrow when it's done and I'll tell you how it was. Okay guys, here's an update on my uh, Tesla repair. I'm back, this is the next morning. I'm back at home. Came home last night because we went out for dinner. Anyway, so I got a call. I picked up the car uh, around 6 p.m. You know, they left the car for me at the, um, uh, you know, at the parking lot by the Tesla service center. You know, my wife drove me there. And you know, I came, I walked around, make sure that everything was fine. They locked the car from the outside and they left me the uh, a keypad inside the uh, glove compartment. So I made sure that everything's good and I drove the car home. I'm going to tell you about the driving experience. So let me tell you what was the original estimate and, and description and what the, what came out. So the windshield, uh, this is the original estimate. The windshield was $1,011. The alignment was $156. The wiper blades, $55.75. The replacing three tires uh, was $155. The charging port replacement uh, was $311.75. Taxes, $111.95. And the total was $1,801.45. So here's what happened. Obviously, the uh, windshield was replaced, the same price that they quoted. Alignment was uh, performed, same price. Wiper blade, same price. Tire replacement, same price. The charging port that would not open manually, it was a little magnet, they replaced it, so that was uh, uh, free. Uh, then they, uh, I told them that there's a squeaky nose from the left, uh, rear left tire. So they, re uh, they discovered that the, the, um, the, the culper of the, uh, of the brake was unaligned, they had to replace it. So they replaced the uh, the brake uh, uh, culper in the back. So that cost $118. That I, I did not know that. So it came down, instead of $1,800, came to $1,594.86. So the, the, the uh, experience itself was great. I drove the car home last night. I, fe I feel like I have a brand new car. It was the, the job they did was spectacular, really spectacular job. They're nice, they're kind. Everything they said that they will do, they did. They were hoping that the uh, car would be ready midday, but it was raining, so they had to keep it inside to for the window to dry. No complaints, uh, you know, all touchless, pay online, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So now the, the whole point of this, they, again, the experience was great, everything was great. The whole point of this is this. They, a windshield, like I said at the beginning of the video, windshield is not a big deal. Windshields get replaced all the time. Now I understand that the the uh, there's alignment. The the issue was not the job or the appointment. The issue was the part. It, it took them a month and a half to get one windshield. A friend of mine also uh, bumped, uh, damaged her front, uh, the front of the car, the whole bumper in the front. It took about two months just to get that part. Now. Tesla Model 3 make uh, thousands and thousands and th tens of thousands of Model 3. So this should be somewhere, should be a, a windshield. But yet it took so long. So this is like, I'm a diehard, so it's fine. I, I, I sucked it up. But for other people, this is like almost like, and nobody else can do it. Only Tesla can do it. You know what I mean? Only Tesla, it's a Tesla part. So even if somebody else would have done it, they had to wait for Tesla. And of course, they would go to the back of the line. Anyway, so that's that issue. So... What I'm saying, the whole myth of uh, Tesla does not need um, does not need any uh, any maintenance. Yes, oil change and spark plugs and all that. That's great. But everything else, Tesla cars need. It's a car. It's four tires on a road and in a box. It's a car, and it's a very sophisticated car. So anything that happens here, it's a it's like a windshield. I've replaced so many windshields in my life. It's like a five hundred bucks maybe. Okay, even less. This one is more than twice as much. It's more than twice as much for a car size like this and dimensions like this. So it is, you know, I know ah, we save a lot of money on the, on on the, on maintenance. Uh, uh, the, uh, yes, until something happened because here everything costs so much more money. Really costs so much more money. Uh, parts like this. Uh, and of course, insurance will cover about $500 deductible and they quoted $600. So if I'm lucky, I'm going to get a hundred bucks. 
So that's that. Listen again, one more time. The experience is great. I feel like the I feel like I bought a new car for fifteen hundred bucks. It's really fantastic. Now it's gonna uh, really go for a tremendous amount of time. It's great, but 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 it's very expensive and you have to wait a long long time so you know ladies and gentle beans if you are buying a, a tesla so you know this part be prepared thank you guys i'm sure I, you have questions put it below and i'll talk to you tomorrow